Hello, friends. Stop back. Playing some more Ark. Survival Evolved on the Pooping Evolved Modded Paragos Extinction Core server. So, today, you can see we're at the CC. A bunch of, bunch of stuff gathering up here. But I kind of want to go look for some more gatherers. So, we've got an Alpha Dodic. And we've got an Alpha Beaver. Or, no, it's a Flaming Beaver. So, we've got the Alpha Dodic. But we've got a Paragos Anki. So, the Paragos Anki actually cooks metal in it. Which is pretty sweet. The um the Dodic is an alpha. Doesn't seem to do much. It kinda it kinda works as a smithy. But it doesn't do any crafting. So I'd like to go take a look for for a Paradose Dodic if we can find one. Or maybe a Gigantopithecus. Because the Giganto is just one of my favorite harvesters now that they hold tools. So anyway, I'm gonna go poke around, see if I can find something. And we'll see uh, see what we come up with. So I'm going to take the Giga, who's still yet to be named. We're going to bring the Giga out. I went ahead and made a bunch of healing potions. Because my the last episode we, we went over and hung out with XB, I didn't have any way to heal. These, these foods work really good for healing. So I'm going to go ahead and try those. But yeah, let's go take a look. I'll go scout around, see if I can find something. And when I do, I'll bring you all back. Okay, so we're back. And this is the best I've come up with so far. There's an Alpha Gigantopithecus, and it's it's not bad. I mean, it's a 520, but it's an Alpha, which is not what I was looking for. Fortunately, I think it's going to be the way we got to go. Pick you up, pick you up. So we'll start here anyway. We'll keep looking, but I've been looking for quite a while, and I haven't seen much. So I think we'll start with this guy. Oh, oh, I have two. What are you? Alpha 340, Alpha 520. Okay. You go sleepy time. Are you throwing rocks at me? Now you go sleepy time. Anybody else? Oh, there's another one. That was just a regular roll one. All right. Everybody good? Everybody done messing around? What is it? Oh, that's just a feather light. All right, so let's see if we can't get this guy here. We need some prime meat, I think. I hope it's prime meat. You're good? You're safe? You're fairly safe? All right, so you, will you eat this prime meat? No? You don't want prime meat? What about crowns? No, that's not working. Um, herbivore food. Regular meat. Nope, you're not eating no more, are you? All right, so this didn't work. So what do they take? Not that one. Hmm. I guess they need berries. I didn't bring any berries. You got berries? No. No. Okay. I guess we're going to go get some berries. And then uh, we'll try this again. Okay. So we're back with berries. Okay, that one woke up again. This one's getting close. We'll go ahead and let them wake up so we can get our taming effectiveness back. Wait, are they male and female by chance? What are you? You're a male. Where are you? What are you? Tell me about yourself. You're a male. Right, so you're not helping me then. You. Stay sleepy. How is this guy's health? Yeah, he's okay. There we go. <laughs> Just up and down. Alright, let's try this again. Try to put some berries. Give you those, and these, and those. One of them. Actually, let's take this back. Let's try this one. Does this work on you? Oh, his food is still down anyway. Put food in inventory to tame. Maybe you only eat kibble. Interesting. 
You're not going to eat these, right? Nope. Okay. Back we go. Try to try again. Not sure what these guys want. So let's um, head back. I guess I'll make up some kibble and see what happens. Okay, so we're back. And I did finally find some of this kibble. So the thing is, it says it needs golden kibble, but it's actually xeno kibble. And the xeno kibble I got, I had it in two of these. There's like uh, purple yarns. One says resource. Uh, was it resource pack or resource box? And the other one is a treasure box. So in the treasure boxes, I actually found Xeno Kibble. It was actually in both ones that I had. I believe I got those from killing the tech bosses. Although I'm not 100% positive. I believe that's where they came from. You're not what I'm looking for. Okay, so we're going to go back. I did all this without actually teleporting because I had to go back to my last location. I didn't want to lose it because I wasn't exactly positive where them, where them guys were. 520. Yep, you're the one I want. Right, so we're going to go ahead and give you uh, first. Let's put these in you. Put those in there. Okay, how much did one do? What? How was that? I don't, this is what it says to use, and they do not work. Are they different alphas? Are you a different, where's the other one? Are you different? Do they do more for you? Nope. Give me those back. All right, so something is wrong here. I don't know what it is, but something. I'll have to uh, talk to some of the other people and see. I don't know. I think XB tamed the uh, uh, the Anki, the Alpha. So I'll have to ask him and see if he has like some insight as to what's going on here. Alpha Bronto. That would be great if I could knock it out. Apparently I cannot. So let's, um, I guess I'm going to regroup and figure out what to do here. Because now I'm not sure what to do. After reading up and not seeing it and then asking somebody else and then them telling me that I looked right over it and didn't see it. It <laughs> turns out you can actually use the vanilla kibble to tame the alpha. So now making the Titanoboa egg kibble, which we're making the last one. I made 25. Hopefully that should be adequate. We'll see. I'm not sure what the Xeno kibble is going to be used for, but we'll just put that away for now. And Titan Boa kibble. All right, let's try this again. Actually, since we're here, I should be able to make up some tame XLs. Make sure I keep some on me. Where are they? Where are they? There they are. Let's do five. Pull. Craft. There we go. Just keep a few on us. Oh, actually, we have the taming potions in the... I'll have to check and see if they work. I haven't really noticed them working yet. But we'll, uh, we'll take a look. Now, where am I at? I got levels for this guy. I actually don't know what to do with him. I mean, he's got a ton of health. I want to see how much Torpor he's doing before I put much, many stats into anything else. You can actually adjust the Torpor on this guy, and I wonder if that affects how much Torpor it deals. I, I don't imagine that it does, but you never know. So anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and zap ourselves back on over. I have not used a teleporter, so it should still bring me back to where we were. We shall see. Yes, we're still here. Okay. So now, after much trying, we're still here. This is the guy we want. I believe that's the one we want. Now, where is the second one? You're going to come charging in on me? There's one here. This looks like a vanilla. Nope, that must be the other one because he passed out. If you were vanilla, he'd have been dead. All right. Let's go give this guy a shot here. One more try. You're the 500-ish? 520? Right. So, we want to put berries in so you have food afterwards. And Titan Bowl Kibble. There we go. Now it's actually working. That's the wrong button. Right. 
Oh, he's still hungry from pumping him down before. Where is he? Cancel that. Take you back. Now, where are we at? 779. What do you got for stats? 200,000 health. Uh, 800 melee damage. Seems pretty good. Let's give you a pickup. And then pick you up. Bam. Gotcha. And of course, now it's dark. So, we're going to head on back to the CC. Wait for the sun to come up. Then we'll take him out and play with him a little bit. So, we'll be back in a little bit. Alright, so we're back at base. Made up a few things. You can see I gave him a helmet. Give him the Parados Flak Helmet, which actually matches pretty good. It's not too bad. We may skin him later, but for right now, it's good. We've also got 5,000 armor on it, so that is not too shabby. I put some healing or some uh, XP potions in him. So we've got, you know, these are still his base stats. You can see he's still at 5 XP, but we got a few levels on him. Just from sitting here. I put up a little training dummy. This says... to do seven seven thousand damage and the throw is c nope three is pick up x x throws a rock does about 3700 so let's go ahead on out see what he does to some real critters where's a turkey come on turkey lurkey what you got yeah see there's 500 on here that's a bit different this in turkey takes to reduce damage come on turkey bring it you got nothing nothing Come on, turkey. You got nothing. Turkey's bleeding. There we go. Oh, and C actually harvests meat. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, so what do we do? We picked up some stuff, a small experience potion. We'll go ahead and use that. That was at 153. We'll see if it does anything. 154. Alright, so let's go ahead on over this way. This way. To this way. Let's see what's out here. What's your trying on? What kind of damage do you take? Still 600. Alright. So we're still doing the same there about that 600 range. What if, if we come into F, if we give you this sword. There we go. Oh, he can't hold stuff. Well, that changes everything. Hmm. I thought that was a change in the basic Giganto. Maybe, maybe it was not. Or maybe this didn't get updated. Hmm. Interesting. That stinks. The whole reason I tamed him was to have use him as a harvester so we could put tools in his hands. He can not do that. So, I guess we'll see what we can do for melee damage. See if he's worth see if he's worth spending time and effort in. Let's do this. This is... Well, that's a dino tracker. I took that out of somebody. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the uh, level counter. But that's alright. We don't need it yet. Let's jack him up to... I don't know. Maybe 2,500... Now we'll go 3,000 melee and see what he does. Get a little bit of speed in him so I don't have to wait so long to run around. Now, what do you do here? 2,500 is not horrible. Alright, you guys. There we go. Now you, I think you got a lot of health, don't you? Don't you? Yeah, you do. All right. So he's doing a little bit of damage. Just keep jacking him up, see what we can do. Maybe we'll see if we can get up to 5,000. Keep going. Keep going. So we'll hit 5,000. Come on now. Oh, nope. Wrong button. Get back on him. All right, you. Get over here. 4,000 damage? Yeah, he's not... He's not what I was hoping for. Come on, get over here. Silly bird. You found a good hiding spot there, didn't you? 
There we go. That's better. There we go. It's just about dead now. Uh, I keep hitting that right button. I got got to stop that. That is not an attack. So C. We'll harvest that guy. There we go. So, yeah. So that's not great. It's a little disappointing, actually. Health doesn't go up that far that fast. So, I guess this, this guy is a bit of a bust. Can't, can't think of any real great use for him offhand. So, uh... I guess we'll just leave him for community use. He'll probably pick berries halfway decent, right? What's that, C? How are you doing for berries here? Oh, there's a tribes guy. That's a problem. You gonna attack me? He is. Come on, tribesman. What you got? Nothing. Them tribes, guys. All right. So anyway, yeah, it looks like uh, looks like Giganto is a bit of a bust. I haven't found a Parados one. I'm gonna keep my eyes open for one. I'm not sure if there are any, but like I said, we'll we'll keep an eye out for them. Again, with the Dodic I was looking for, I didn't see one of them either. So maybe she doesn't have them in yet. Um, maybe they're just hard to find. So. We'll take a look. Maybe we've got the spawns messed up because we've got different mods going. So we'll check it out, see what we can find, and we'll pick it up here on the next one. So remember, subscribe to the channel so you get new stuff as it comes out. We'll see you guys next episode. As always, I'm Stub, and you're awesome. Game off.